that as you were saying, I also like to provide information as to why the script failed, right? So in this specific uh, script here, it's actually reading an Excel file and placing families and updating parameter names. Hugely helpful, especially for some of our uh, lab planning teams and things like that. They get Excel lists from the client with all the specialty equipment they need, right? So essentially here, you can see that with a string, I'm saying specify family and the family must be loaded in. If that family isn't loaded in, I obviously get an error, right? I get a null value. So basically I use the lunchbox node, manage replace nulls. And I say, if it's null, say no family found by that name specified, right? So then it won't run at all. It basically says, stop the script, provide this output and tell the user that something's wrong, right? And this script actually takes a while to run so that's like one additional catch of saying, before this runs and takes a few minutes, <laughs> right? Let's make sure that all of those parameters, if you will, that this script is looking for are available. Okay, it's kind of tricky to use the word parameter as its defined term, but regardless. A secondary way that I report errors from this script is, this is a little bit more complicated, but you can see I'm not actually using any custom nodes here. It's all out of the box nodes and my lovely Python script for my conditional format. But basically it's reading my Excel file, comparing that to the room numbers in my Revit file. And if, they, if it doesn't find that room number, it says verify Excel or Revit for the room number, whatever, right? So once again, before taking multiple minutes to run this script, it will actually uh, run and fail, not do anything. And then basically tell the user, go check Revit, go check your Excel. There's something that doesn't match, right? So just like Kyle was saying, providing an output for the user to say, hey, it completed with errors, it didn't run but this is why. From my standpoint, this means less emails, less IMs, <laughs> right? Yep. The user will say, my data is bad. <laughs> how, do, how do I fix this before I contact Dana and then I realize that I didn't follow the steps that I was supposed to follow, right? So that's what we're looking at there. <laughs>